Oh, big, big moment, a massive moment for one of the Pepsi Max cars. Into the wall, out of business for Chaz Most the reigning champion has had a monumental crash. This will be a red flag. Most has had a terrible accident at the top of the hill. A shocking accident that's ridden this car off. Do not get out of your car, do not get out of your car. We will try to get medical straight away, buddy. Chaz Mostert has had a terrible accident at the top of the hill on the run to Forest Elbow in those high-speed S's. And that is a dreadful sight at Mount Panorama. Peak speed before you. Still, buddy. Just keep talking to them. All right? It's 175 You're still okay? You're still walking? Okay, so that's 175 kilometres an hour on the approach to the elbow. Mostert is speaking. Let's just see if we can unravel what's happened here. We'll have a look at a variety of replays. So this is Mostert on the exit of the dipper. High speed S's. Oh, he's clouded the wall, which has ricocheted him into the outside wall, and then the catastrophe really begins. It's just a pinball at that point. And it's ridden right across the top of that wall and completely ripped down the debris fencing. Understand that there are officials behind that as well. So he's clipped that wall, gone then from the left side of the road to the right, that's then fired it back to the left. And uh, very lucky not to get across the top of the wall. Drivers, fortunately, have also got the additional carbon protection down the right-hand side for side intrusion with these cars. Reynolds was the next car. Let's listen. My oh, goodness. We go on about how this track can buy hard and it's, uh, it doesn't disappoint every time you come back. Unbelievable. So... Thankfully, despite that massive impact, Chaz is OK. You think about crashes like Lee Holdsworth at uh, Sandown. He's, when I say OK, he's in with the ambulance crew at the moment. We'll continue to update you as to his condition. He did speak back to Adam DeBore on the radio. And uh, that has brought a halt. And we're still waiting on getting the session going. But the clock is now counting. And hopefully we'll be back to racing here at Mount Panorama very shortly with over half hour left in this session.